This is Ethelron, a 57 foot 8 inch semi traditional narrowboat built in 2006 by a highly regarded XRD and fitted out by the also highly regarded Beacon Boats. She's in lovely condition actually, she's been in the hands of the same owners since she was built in 2006 and the condition reflects that. She's just been out of the water in September 2018. For blacking, she had four new anodes put on, so she got eight in total, the old ones stayed on. There's a 120 watt solar panel there on the roof. You probably get a feel for how lovely she is. The well deck's covered by a cratch cover, very good condition, that has glazed panels. There's also a tonneau which sits over the semi-cruiser's deck at the stern when she's not being used to keep the weather out. Lovely bows. Two 13 kilo gas bottles in that forward locker. They have a changeover valve. And this well deck's really quite cosy. A nice table in there. A couple of bench seats either side which double up as lockers. And the front doors are lovely. They're steel on the outside so they're very secure. They're stable doors with oval windows in. And into the boat we go. She feels lovely. Fitted out in oak, solid oak floor. Painted above the gunnels so she feels quite light. There's a couple of armchairs there. And the solid fuel stove, that's a, an evergreen. Storage in the step there as you come in and a couple of cupboards with a television over on the port side here. The saloon's eight feet long. There's a stereo there as well, CD, radio, MP3 player. Head height in the boat is six foot five. It's a Houdini hatch here over the L-shaped dinette. That table can either be a single table or double as it's erected there. And that dinette turns into a double berth as well. On into the galley. Eight feet long again, another Houdini hatch. The woodwork in here is lovely. You'll see the curves and the lines as we go through. There are lights over the work surfaces there. And there we go, lovely woodwork. Four burner gas hob here. There's an awful lot of storage on this boat. I'll be opening a few cupboards, so be prepared. It's important to show. Cupboards over. Beacon boats do a lovely job, I think, with their woodwork. There's the sink, plenty of cupboards underneath, and a bank of three drawers to the right. That's the twin tub washing machine. And opposite that is the eye level grill and oven, the pan cupboard above it, spotlessly clean, and the fridge since under, that's a 230 volt Deu with an ice box. That's the gas boiler, central heating on board is served by that, or the engine, the engine as well can heat the central heating side hatch there and some useful storage shelves next to it. Into the walkthrough bathroom. Six and a half feet long this room but it feels longer. Lovely ceramic basin there. Bank of drawers underneath. It's good use of space. And to the right of that there's some shelves there. Lovely tile surround to the basin. There's a tiled quadrant shower there, heated towel rail and there's the loo, that's a Thetford C200 with an electric flush. The bedroom's huge, 12 feet long, storage under, there's three of these good sized drawers and the bed itself extends very easily, I'm doing it one handed there, to four foot six wide. Another radiator in here. 
cupboards over the head of the bed. There's the central heating controls. And acres of storage behind the bed. Three drawers there. Two good sized cupboards. Cubs at the bottom here are accessed once you move those steps. They literally just lift and pull out very easily. And on the other side, two sets of double cupboards above each other. It's the same underneath. And two more cupboards here. This one houses the electrics. An inverter is in the one underneath it. Very good size room, feels very roomy. Up the steps we go, onto the semi trad deck, the engine's under there. That's an Isuzu four cylinder. Photograph of that in the brochure. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. Seven and a half feet long, the total length of this rear deck, so very good space, very social. Lighting on the boat's all LED. I mentioned the inverter, that's an 1800 watt. There's a galvanic isolator on board. She comes with all the usual navigation equipment. So she's ready to go. Make somebody a lovely home or holiday boat. Nothing to do to her. Lovely boat. Those uh, circular cushions you saw there on the L shaped dinette are the bungs for the portholes. And out we go. That is Ethelron. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure. Go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk